I'm Shane Orr. And welcome to our gym. start and we'll work our way around our new gym facility but over here we've obviously got our array of uh, barbells and different arrangements here so we've got from axle bars to um, an appliance here used for bench press at different positions and then we've got an easy bar not so easy and then we've got my special broomstick here Actually, we'll actually I would like to point this one out if we can uh, this was actually given to Shane and it's like a broomstick uh, and it says Shane Orr, best CrossFit coach in the world, 2017. So obviously he's a friend of mine to give me that, that title <laughs> that back then, so but very, very much appreciated. Yep. And then as we go down the line here guys, so we've got our Rhino squat machine. We mentioned this earlier in the previous episodes. So if you haven't seen that, you can see us actually constructing it. But more to the point here, we've got a rhino bar, we love using this, it's actually a good tool right now for where we are in the season and trying to uh, alleviate any residual back issues that TMA may have had in the prior season or in the off season. Yeah. So this has been great. We're going to actually add a pull up bar there as well so we can do weighted or resistant pull up. So then we have our station where we have all of our supplies, so we've got collars, we've also got fractional plates, we've got some tape. Um, bands, mobility bands, and then, you know, we'll be hanging up most of our um, skipping ropes as well up here. The main thing that you'll probably notice is we just don't want heaps of stuff on the floor like clutter, because over time it just definitely gets dusty and we really like a nice clean gym. So then actually what I wanted to point out as well, if you haven't seen these magnetic bloody clips, game changer, <laughs> revolutionary. I know they've probably been out for a while, but my day I'm still using the old steel Moving down the line guys, so we've got a reverse hyper here, right? Uh, pretty self-explanatory, but what I love about it, it's connected with the rig itself, so support is structurally really sound. It tucks away for the most part, and um, the fact of the matter is, what I'll probably use a lot of it as well, it's a good bench up for me to do some computer work while we've got some training going on in the background. So, really cool and useful there. Moving down, what we have is more of our uh, we're still playing around with these settings as well. Settings, it's like it's an Android or computer. But what we've done, we've played around with the shelves as well. Down the bottom here, we've obviously got our D-balls, an array of mix there. Uh, we're gonna add to that pile as the season or as the seasons progress. This shelf here, we, we figured we'd actually set it up to be more designed for loose items once we get our shelving sorted. And then on our top shelf, there are actually our sandbags that need to be filled. Uh, over from it there as well, we have some of the grip strength stuff as well. Um, over here, we got our store bars, um, pretty self-explanatory there. This is probably a new feature that we'll implement and especially the way CrossFit is going as well. They're actually going back to a lot of the fundamental movements and more skills oriented around gymnastics. gymnastics. So this here is, I don't use it too much, but this is, seems to be a chalk bucket. Yes. Um... I like this one a lot because now I don't have to bend over and get my chalk. Um, then we also have our rock wall. Um, yeah, just working on grip strength, right? So that's the whole trick. It is designed or we've actually played with it and spoken to someone who does this for a, a bit of a living. And the sequence is designed to walk across, but more so for us just to isolate different grip and different positions. So that's what it would predominantly be used for. And it just spruces up a bit of color. We love that, hey? Yeah. Just add it up. Then we move over, what, we got rings for dips. Rings for dips, believe it or not, rings for dips. Um, then we also have these bad boys. Do you want to elaborate on them? Yeah, so we're going to use these for jerk recoveries. You could obviously use them for dead stop squats. Um, but predominantly, just give, given that we do have jerk blocks, so we'll go through that shortly. We'll probably use these for recoveries as well, just so that we can see it pass through. Then we have our trusty med balls, okay? So we've got um, 10, 14, 20 pound, 25, and 30 pound. Um, clearly Shane is expecting me to do a lot more 30 pound wall balls because we've got more of them. Then we have our clock. Now this is um, freestanding. 
there is nothing worse than being on one pull-up bar and not seeing the clock when you finish or being on the other side of the gym and needing to actually finish on the other side of the gym. Um, this is going to come in very, very handy. So I'm really happy about this. Then we have our kettlebells. So we have an array of kettlebells going from lightest to heaviest. Obviously in the CrossFit Games, we've noticed all like heavy kettlebells have come up. We've also had lighter kettlebells, but where, uh, where you're doing, you know, the clean and jerks or the shoulder overheads with the dual kettlebells. We have our ski ergs. Yep. I really like skiing and it appears so because we actually have more ski eggs than we do all the other um, equipment. So over here guys, so we've got our sandbags, uh, we've got I think a 50, 100, two 150s and then below we've got more of our durable plates and then we predominantly use these on our sleds. Prior to us moving to the US or buying our mm -hmm. affiliate, we actually purchased our first set of uh, bumper plates from Rogue and it is the high temp plates. Now this is really cool because obviously I have like my personalized ones. This is another Christmas present from Rogue where they um, did personalized um, barbells. This is my sister's 21st birthday present. Um, so no one's allowed to touch that one. Yeah. Um, and then we've got also just another array of barbells with um, you know 20 kilos or 15 kilos. Um, there's actually, <laughs> it's very biased, isn't it? I've got a lot more 15 kilo and, barbells than And those. a fun story with this one here, this is actually the bar that we got for tier to practice or for training for weightlifting mm -hmm. for the Olympics. So this one has got a bit of um, history for us as well. So we actually, we've held this one since, I don't know, back in the day when we started. Um, I think it was really important to note that just because the knurling was quite different mm -hmm. and it was quite coarse, so just getting used to that as well. Yeah, there's two here versus like one on there. Yeah. The then, well, we've got our muscle up rings um, on either side. So we've also gone standards with the game settings as well. So it's been about um, this width the part. Sorry, I forget the dimension. So we've factored that in here. Um, and for those people that do the open for a living, we've also made these more narrow as we find it significantly easier than wider rings. So this is for training for a purpose of the games. And this is sort of if we're playing the game of the open and keeping it tight and easier as well. Uh, moving forward to the line guys, so we've got more sandbags here, so I believe these are both 200, well that's cool, I think this one's slightly lighter, or one of them's slightly lighter, um, but one of them's 200, one of them's about a 180, 175 pound there. Mm -hmm. Up here guys, what do we so have here? So these bags, they actually were when Matt and I were training um, in 2020 for the ranch, um, so when it was all announced at the ranch, um, we knew that there was going to be hills and everything and that they'll most likely get us to carry something up the hill. So we did a lot of um, work when it came to um, the summers in Cookville and training with Fraser. Um, and we would have to make, I think his is a little bit heavier than mine. Yeah, we, we made sure that we, um, and they get a lot heavier by the end of it with the sweat on it. Oh, it was terrible. But I do want to bring to attention this these, this wall here is actually uh, old sleeper posts from like a railroad. Uh, they've just shaved them, uh, washed them, and then given off this white feel as well. So mm -hmm. it just gives a bit of depth of field and a bit of separation from the rig, which I think looks phenomenal. Then we got um, our plates now, a lot of them, so, You'll notice um, that this is actually from the games in 2021. I know Shane's already elaborated a little bit on that. What I've noted as well, Rogue have now got the IWF stamp on their plates, which is a big deal. So it gives them credibility to certify how accurate these plates are and that they use them now in weightlifting mm -hmm. competitions as well. So that's a big, big milestone for them, I'm sure, because I knew early on that when we did competitions, especially through the COVID period as well, that they need to be certified weights and this that fits that category now. So they've done that, that's really cool for us, a bit of reassurance. Not sure we'll go down that route again with weightlifting, but it's good to know you got the option as well. Or maybe, maybe you're looking at doing that. The same thing from the other side. So yes, it's pretty much mirrored, isn't it? Yeah, and then we've also got um, our free walk for the um, handstand walks or anything like that. Uh, wall walks. Yep. Um, we've also got our um, rock, Climbing wall, 
Um, then these are our vests. So um, I've actually got to hang up a few more, but just waiting on a few more um, coat hangers. But um, so this, this vest here, for example, I've added a few more um, patches, but um, this vest was my very first vest back in 2015 when we did Murph. Um, so that holds something special there. Um, this one was uh, the Randy, I be oh, Rescue Randy, I think it was, where we had to go on the obstacle course um, at the CrossFit Games. And then throughout this, um, you know, we've had like this vest for uh, the ranch and all these vests I've like either got from Rogue Invitational um, or, you know, the CrossFit Games and, you know, you, you get to keep your vest uh, at the end of the competition. So it's kind of cool because each vest has a bit of a memory behind it all. Um, then we've also got, again, um, like the other side, some more um, bars. More um, collar storage. Can never have too many collars. And then... I'm really excited about this one. Yeah, okay. so so what we have here is a cable machine. Um, I know, I'm a storage guy, so I really do like what they've got going on. But ultimately, cable, so we're gonna do a lot of pull downs. Um, we've actually got a lap machine further down the line. That's sort of the in second installment. But this is certainly a uh, hit our triceps. We'll do a lot of isolation or functional, no, sorry, more bodybuilding style movements on this. This is obviously our, our dumbbell, dumbbell storage. Um, yeah, we are still waiting on our dumbbells to arrive, so they haven't arrived and we also um, just need to um, finalize, finalize that. Yeah. So um, I think the big concern for us, obviously being in Australia, is like the kilos and pounds. So this is certainly not kilos, this is in pounds and the rest are kilos. So we're still debating what we want to do um, in that setting. Yeah, it, it's good to kind of have a bit of both because especially if I have to um, compete in Australian competitions, where they use kilos, I want to also be very um, clued up on that. But um, obviously, the CrossFit Games, Rogue Invitational, you are using pounds. And so, if you're out on the floor and you need to know the calculations and you need to understand what pounds and kilos conversion is, um, that is absolutely crucial. So, I really like to have a bit of both. Um, just so that I know confidently when I go out on the floor, it doesn't really matter what the um, conversion is. Then we also, so th these won't stay here. Um, this yes. is just here for the yep. time being because then we also have another one of yep. these. And so it's gonna be attached right here. Yep. We're gonna mirror that and then it's gonna have another arm extended through here. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna have a lap pull down machine situated here so that this will then be at the end of the line installment. Um, but what we do have temporary here, guys, is a lot of obviously jerk blocks here. Um, we're gonna use them for burpee get overs. Um, also really, really great for lifting. So, um, you know, if you're getting into your lifting or your CrossFit or anything like that, um, you know, you can use a lot of these for a lot of different things. You know, going from just below the knee for your snatches, for your cleans, um, doing a lot of lifting and breaking down those lifts um, while using this. You'll also notice that we've got um, all the same blocks. Um, we also are waiting for different size blocks so you can actually get bigger ones, smaller ones, just in case you actually want to go from mid shin. Um, or you know above the knee as well so um, it's really great to have that variety yeah, so we've got some plyo uh, boxes here array of different heights as well so that when we're mm -hmm. starting to do a lot of our warm-up drills as well as triple Sing extension yeah single leg jumps yep. straight leg jumps yep and then this is obviously we can make up whatever height we need as well um, I encourage using these as well just for the setting that we are in um, with trying to simulate competition the best that we can so using the equipment that which they would use for the games makes uh, the guessing work, removes the guessing work, as we should say. So over here, moving down this line here, guys, there's more of our equipment that will be sort of fixed to the area, meaning that we won't move it around or won't have that luxury to be on wheels, which we're, we're happy and fortunate for, because we understand that it's very heavy when I load this bad boy up, when I put a 25 on it. Then, and we have um, a chest supported row. Yes, and we have a special barbell here. This is actually really cool because, uh, you know, sometimes like you'll get a bench and then you'll have it on two boxes. Um, that's what we've done in the past. But 
now you can actually adjust with the J hooks and you know, I don't have to ask someone else to lift the bar up for me or anything like that. Gonna test, stand the test of time. I guarantee that one, watch now. Hey, what's up? Then You're welcome. Then moving on, we have one of my favorite pieces of equipment, the GHD machine. Uh, so we've got two of these bad boys. Yeah, the big thing is it allows for multiple axis and movement, right? So that we could pull back, pull this back to give, uh, depending on the height of the person or the individual. And then we could also increase height, um, allowing for the same concept as well as you move further back. But our goal, guys, for this as well, I'm not sure if you're interested, but I'll look for the peak of the pad and the peak of our footrest to be aligned. And that way we've got a nice flat, our legs, sorry, should be nice and parallel with the floor, sort of the rule of thumb or general speak that we're looking for. And again, talking about uh, the durability in this, like we've, uh, you see these are competitions and there's a reason why they use it, very durable in that sense and uh, mobile in the sense that there's wheels as well, which is cool. So we can move these around to suit the workout. And we've seen that come up. Quarterfinals, I'm sure you guys watching this are very familiar with the season format. So the quarterfinals and semifinals uh, obviously require a lot of GHDs where we start seeing them in workout. So hence why we got them. Then this big bad boy is our leg press. Um, you know, it's just another form of um, a leg exercise or developing your leg strength. Um, you know, if you do have some kind of back injury going on, um, this that. can really help with isolating that. Yep, like just like Shane just said. Um, you can also do calf raises with it. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I don't mind bench press because you get to lay down while actually like working out. So this is a very similar kind of um, piece of equipment. Now, before CrossFit was even a part of my life, I, when I would be at the gym, I reckon I would probably do this like every single day, which oh. is probably not good, but I really like this piece of machine. Um, Shane, do you want to elaborate? Yeah, I've so been... we could do both. So we could do, sorry, leg extension or hip extensions. Oh, sorry, we can work on our hamstrings or our quads. Yep. So we can uh, kick it up or pull it underneath ourselves here. Like in fact, we haven't actually used it yet, but it's very versatile in the setting. So we can change that length, this position, that position and obviously the weight there. So very uncommon for us to have in the CrossFit setting and we're very fortunate to have machines or, or devices like this. And for the time being guys, what we have is just more of our storage of obviously our salt bikes, uh, keeping them in the play. We've got more echoes here, we've got bike goes, we've got our rollers, we've got yokes as well. And then set up over here that we've got array of uh, parallettes for either whatever position you want to be in. We've got our sled, we've got our farmer's carry. Over the back there, we actually have some stones. We've seen them played out. Uh, also, this is pretty cool. We've got how we carry tiered barbell around a lot. So it's a, a portable or a carrier for a barbell if you're into that stuff. So that's pretty cool. We've got that on standby. If we want to do like a workout at the track, we can just load that up and go for it. Um, at the back as well. We thought we would bring a, uh, a bit of American culture over this way as well, playing cornhole. So we made well, it's good for a Sunday session. I was going to say we'll, we'll uh, pull it out for Christmas and set that up yeah. and throw it around here. So something different than our traditional cricket in the backyard on Christmas. Of course, um, you know it's a work in progress. But basically, what we're trying to do is we go. We have a um, we have a, a, a magnesium bath or a float tank. Um, if you guys are familiar with that, um, you can float in magnesium water and you're a lot more buoyant. Um, we also have an ice um, bath, okay? Um, we also have a hot tub as well, so you can do contrasting. And we also have a sauna. So um, this, we can elaborate a lot more when our recovery is all set up. Um, it's gonna be a really nice ecosystem and it's going to be something that's like you will be able to find your optimal recovery when it comes to um, you know, recovering and getting back into the gym and feeling really, really good. Coming back to this first wall that we started out, these are our pegboards. Pretty clear, I don't think I have to elaborate on that, but more so the construction of it was pretty cool. We had three or four blokes holding on to this while we set it up. And um, surprisingly, that this is about 19 mil thick ply, so that it was thick enough to go through there. 
and that we found a beam or column in the middle of it so these lined up well it held my body weight so it'll support 99 percent of the athletes that come through this space for sure uh, so we've got two of them don't know why we've only got tier we've only got one of tier so <laughs> i'm not going to get up there too frequent but then if we pan across this way which i'm very proud of as well and to see the development play out um, the detail, the effort that the guys put in as well, obviously the Rogue team are constructing that or designing that for the last 18 months. Yep, um, they had their whole engineer team on it. Yeah, and obviously the crew that helped us put this together, right, especially given the, um, for me it's sort of a surreal scenario. If you could see the first rig that we started with where it was sort of a, what was it, a three by three bay, a single yeah. bay, and that's where it started to now having um, well, this mecca of a place is sort of a big stepping stone or many steps to get to this point. So we're really proud of it. Substantially proud of the detailed, intricate work that has gone into this, um, this bridge component as well. And just more of a, um, something special for Tia to, to celebrate with the success that she's had as well. Yeah, I definitely think like, you know, we, I think we started off with say like $10,000 of um, gym equipment when we very first started CrossFit and then to be able to do something like this um, you know never when we were purchasing that equipment did we ever envision this did we yeah so when we when we first got our three by three rig we actually thought like okay this will last a lifetime and it which yeah. it has like it's still it's still set there up, but I think um, I think we just, you never know what the future will bring, right? And as long as you're proactively working towards a better version of yourself and, and it equated to this, and I'm very proud, but very fortunate for you guys to be a part of our channel. It's a big part of us, I emphasize. I mean, great momentum or motivation for us to, to keep working hard. And to keep working hard. But, yeah. um, all right guys, so there are still a tiny little bit of things that we really want to add to it, but aside from that, this is pretty much it in a whole. We are so incredibly proud, so thankful for the Rogue team. Um, and you know, I'm actually really thankful for Shane and also our friends who have actually put it together. I didn't, I didn't do as much as what I thought I would, but um, they really stepped up and uh, far exceeded my expectations, so. So we did Great it. job. Oh, thank you, T. You cheated. Great job, T. Well. EC, Will, Sam, Trav, Jake. And guys, if you have noticed something in the video uh, that you've really liked, um, head on over to the Rogue website. You'll find absolutely everything that you need over on that website. And you know, they definitely go above and beyond when it comes to customer service and getting you exactly what you need. So um, you will be 100% happy um, and ecstatic and you'll be able to get after your health and fitness. Give me all of your